We just want people that are sales wolves, that are wolves, to understand themselves. Yeah. And and then we also want people that are giraffes or mm-hmm. or hippos mm-hmm. or any other of the bears or yeah. lions so we're or tigers. Four podcasts. <laughs> Sales hippos is next. Sales hippos. No. <laughs> but, but we want people to be self-aware. What is up, everybody? It is the 100th episode of the Sales Wolves Podcast. I am your host, Tyler Harris. Joseph Caldwell. And we are the Sales Wolves. Uh, Man, 100 episodes. 100 episodes, man. Do you ever think we'd get to 100 episodes? Not this quick. It feels like it was (laughs) yesterday we started this podcast. It feels to me like it was 10 years ago. (laughs) Kind of. When I look back at some of those first videos, I'm like, holy cow, who was that? Who is that? Yeah. It's nice. It's cool. It's awesome. Um, because it shows our journey, right? Yeah, like absolutely. everybody's on a journey, and we're we're no different. Absolutely. Uh, no better, no worse. We're all on a journey in this life, and 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 working to become the person that deserves the goals that we set. Mm-hmm. Right, and absolutely. we can walk into those. So we've got something special uh, planned for you guys for this 100th episode of the Sales Wolves podcast. We want to identify other sales wolves. We want to know which of you out there that are listening or watching this right now may be a wolf like like we are. And for those of you that saw um, episode, was it 99 that we had Chris Young on? I believe it was 99 or 98, 98. Those of you that watched or listened to 98, if you haven't, definitely do that with Chris Young. I mean, Chris, while you're listening to 98, go back to one and listen to them all. Yeah. Subscribe. And, yeah, and, absolutely. And, and you can take see a week. the journey. Take a week. <laughs> take, a, take a week and just, just sales wolf it out. <laughs> but Chris Young broke it down. Like, he has got this down to an absolute science True. on what is the makeup of a sales wolf down to the nth degree. Right. And it's pretty fascinating. And you know what's funny, Tyler? We talk about sales wolves, mm-hmm. and, and it's almost like we elevate wolves above other people, but it's yeah. not true, yeah. right? Like, we just want people that are sales wolves, that are wolves, to understand themselves. Yeah. And, and then we also want people that are giraffes or, mm-hmm. or hippos mm-hmm. or any other of the bears or yeah. lions so or tigers. Yeah, starting podcasts. <laughs> Sales hippos is next. Sales hippos. No. <laughs> but, but we want people to be self-aware yeah, and to set sure. their goals accordingly, right? Because, yeah. I mean, no matter what role you fill in a company, you want to make sure that you're the right fit for that role. Or if you're an entrepreneur, you're the right fit to be an entrepreneur. Um, and so that's, that's really what, what spurred this on. Yeah. We want people. And there's people out there that think that they're, that they're wolves when really they may be they may be failing at being a sales wolf mm-hmm. and they think they're a wolf when really they're um, a bear that yeah. would be the best number three in a company or number mm-hmm. four or whatever. And that's not like the number one's better than that like person. It's hierarchy. just, it's not like a hierarchy. It's just understanding who you are and double down on that. Mm-hmm. Double down on your strengths. Double down on who you are and get to that role that you would best fit and then you will make more money, be more happy and experience more joy than trying to fit yourself into this, you know, sales wolf or yeah. whatever, right? Yep. So, anyway. Absolutely. So, we know what it looks like, and, and that's important. And we know what it smells like, and we know what yeah. it tastes like, and all of that. Um, so here's what we want to do. We're going to open up a contest to you guys. And we want you to email us after you've subscribed to the podcast. That's the first pre- prerequisite. 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 Yeah. It's the first prerequisite uh, <laughs> to, to be in this contest. <laughs> uh, so make sure that you've subscribed, obviously. Uh, but then shoot me an email. It's info at tylerjackharris.com. Yeah. Info at tylerjackharris.com. And shoot me an email just explaining why you believe that you are a sales wolf. It could be two sentences. 
if they're powerful, or it could be a couple paragraphs. That's completely up to you. Uh, but just explain to us why you think that that's you, like why we think that we're talking to you right now when we're looking uh, for sales wolves. And here's what we're going to do as far as what you're going to be able to win. Number one, we already have a sales wolves book. It's been written and it's incredible, fully edited. It's sitting in a PDF version right now. Yep. And we're looking at our options for publishing uh, on how we're going to get this out and the distribution. Yep. But we're going to allow 10 people to get the very first pre-released copy of the PDF of the Sales Wolves uh, book. And I'm extremely excited. When when I read back through it, like I felt like I learned something, which is sure. which was strange because it was over this long period of time. But it was taken from the first 50 episodes and the greatest lessons that we uh, were able to learn from the first 50 episodes. Yeah. Uh, and it's awesome. You're going to get a lot out of it. And we hope that you enjoy that. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to enable you to take that assessment that will give you the ability to become far more self-aware and to actually find out if you're a sales wolf. Right. So you're gonna tell us why you think you are. We're gonna enable you to take an assessment that's gonna show you whether you are or not. Um, this and process- And what you are, like what yeah. are your gifts? Like you you may just not be aware. You've heard the saying, forest for the trees. Can't mm -hmm. see the forest for the trees. Well, man, I can look back on times in my life, Tyler, where I did not know what I did not know. Yeah. And I didn't know where my strengths were. I wasn't aware of my weaknesses and, and I didn't know how to mitigate those and double down on my strengths because I just wasn't aware. And so this is our gift to you in this new year as we start this journey together in the yep. new year. In this hundredth episode, you write us, you tell us why you think you're a sales wolf and we'll take the top 10 of those mm -hmm. and then we'll send the book and, and you can read the book. You get the first pre-release, pre-published yep. PDF version of it. And, and then how, what kind of value would you put on that, um, on the, uh, the assessment? Well, I'll tell you the value because we were looking at selling it at one point and that was going to be $900. $900. So $900. $900. That is the initial value, but what you'll actually get from it and what it'll turn into in your life for me and myself, it's been invaluable. Like it's been priceless. What I learned about me through this process, you're gonna get like a 50 plus page printout that will literally be your autobiography. Like as you yep. read through it, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, like this. Like did this like, guy, did, did this? Did these people <laughs> consult the stars? <laughs> yeah, I like, mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. But like little things, like it'll tell you um, best ways to communicate with you, worst ways to communicate with you, yeah. best environments for you to work in, yeah. worst environments for you to work in, all these different things that you never knew about yourself, some that you may affirm, some that you may disagree with, but it is science-based. This assessment profile that we use is the only one that actually uh, owns a utility patent tying your results to brain research. It's the only one that can see that. Like Myers-Briggs can't say that. Strength finders can't say that. DISC can't even say that. And we've looked it's at incredible. all those. Oh, yeah. We've and it kind of, and honestly, it kind of puts all of those together and then puts it on steroids for like 30 years. Yeah. And then it has this assessment. So you're going to get so much out of it. We put all of our agents through this process. All of our employees, all of our agents, it's all of huge. everything. We, we, I mean, we did this together mm -hmm. and then, and yeah. then we, I got to go through Tyler's compared to mine mm -hmm. so that I could see, I could see how best to communicate with Tyler. Yeah. I ignore it most of the time. Yeah. But <laughs> no. But it was so valuable for me to see how we should be able to interact the best. Um, yep. So that's what so that's what we're gonna do. It'll come to you in the form of a link. So the link will take you to the assessment. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got a solid 45 minutes to an hour right. uh, without distractions in order to take it and get the best results. Um, so in that email, if we choose you as one of the 10, uh, we're gonna announce it on social media. So make sure that you're following both of us uh, on Instagram and Facebook, CEO of Change and Tyler Jack Harris on Instagram and Facebook. That's where we'll announce it. But you'll know because you'll get an email back with the PDF of the book and the link to take the assessment. Yeah. Don't feel like you have to do it right that second. Make sure that you can actually set aside some time uh, and take this seriously because it could be extremely impactful, uh, especially it's perfect timing as we start this new year and figure yeah. out 
in order for you to figure out the version of you that you want to be, it's probably a good idea to figure out who you are who to you begin are. with. <laughs> yeah. yeah, how do you know who you want to be if you don't know who you are? Yeah. Exactly. That's... So guys, I couldn't be more excited. It's really, I mean, it's awesome that we've reached this 100 episode milestone. It doesn't happen often. If you look at podcasts and the natural progression or, or a life cycle of podcasts, yeah. most of them don't ever get uh, to 100, so it's I wonder awesome. How, I wonder what the average is. I don't know. I, I, I really have no idea. A lot of them are, you know, very quick, you know, podcasts. They'll knock out like 10, 15 in a day yeah. and uh, schedule them out. But the way we do this, trying to get them knocked out every single week uh, to get it out there, it's it's uh, it's unique. So yep. 100 more, it. here we come. Here we and, come. And uh, make sure that you guys get those emails to us quickly, though. Um, we'll set a deadline, actually. This will come out... This this will come out on what is today? Today's Tuesday. Today, Tuesday so this is going to come out on the ninth, right? In two weeks. It's been two weeks. Two weeks for them to get it back. Okay, so this is January 9th that you guys are seeing this. So we'll give you guys two weeks so uh, to get these buys. So the twenty third. So by January twenty third, you guys need to have those emails sent again to info at tylerjackharris.com. and uh, we'll review all those. We're going to take some time. Uh, and really go through these. And I cannot wait to read uh, why you guys think that you're sales wolves. And I can't wait to read some of them where I'm going to probably be instantly like, oh, crap, this this, 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 this a, lady's definitely a sales this wolf is for a sure. Wolf. So this with that, guys. This part wolf and part Viking just like Joseph. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so with that, guys, this is episode 100 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm Tyler Harris. And Joseph Caldwell. And we are the Sales Wolves. Uh,